All right, hey everybody. Welcome back, it's been a while. This is my first video I've actually recorded in probably like six months. And I'm really excited to be back. So it's been a long break. I mean, I've been doing, putting out videos recently, but I haven't actually recorded anything since like October. And now it's finally getting into spring weather here in Indiana. If you look outside, it's beautiful. It's 62 degrees, 63 degrees. So today I actually left my credit card at a restaurant the other night. So I'm gonna go pick that up, but I figured I might as well make a video along the way. So just getting my helmet all set up. I got my uh, camera on, got my microphone in there. Earplug is very important, all sorts of mess. And uh, we're gonna get out on that, uh, get that on, get on the road and uh, go pick up my credit card. Earplug one, earplug two, and here comes the business. All right, hopefully that's not too aggressively loud or anything, but not too much I can really do about that at the moment. So I'll just run in and, uh, oh geez, my helmet's really dusty. You can tell it's been a bit because uh, dusty helmet not good not good at all better actually kind of is although we'll see how it is out there obviously we got to get my glasses back grab my keys you know what? i don't even have shoes on there's an order of operations here that i am not maintaining oh i'm sure you weren't expecting to see this shoe and the other shoe ah I almost forgot the most important part airbag alrighty we still recording looks like we're good honestly before I go let's check my camera angle Turn my music a little bit. Hello, beautiful. It's been too long. You can tell it's quite been salty in Indiana the past couple weeks because my car is gross. That's something I gotta fix. Get it all detailed up and clean. Yeah, switch these bad boys out. Prescription sunglasses for any of those people out there. They are expensive. It is kind of one of those things that you have to kind of justify, but I find that I use them enough that I find that they are most definitely worth it. But, you know, they can be quite an expense. Ugh, so, they're probably not for everybody. Ugh, here comes the most precarious procedure that I ever do. Backing up my bike. That is the hardest part after the winter, is uh, remembering how to use this old 750, 800 pound machine. All right, so actually my bike just stalled on me. I, I was trying not to film too close to my neighborhood, uh, just not to you know give away too much where I live. But uh, I might have to get gas or something. I wasn't sure what that was about. Either way, we're good now. I have a flat spot in my tire, I can feel it. It's giving me a little bit of head shake. Nothing dangerous, but uh, I'll have to ride that out, get the bike's uh, tires seated up nice and warm. Uh, oh, why is it not closing? Oh, shoot, I gotta move my mic. I apologize if it's very windy. Uh, my mic is blocking my uh, visor from closing. So I'm gonna pull over real quick, see if I can't fix that. All right. There we go. Close the helmet now. What is happening? We good? You gonna act up again? Hmm. Then this up. Okay. Let's see here. Traffic clearing up. I can't actually see it well. So 
So today I'm doing something I don't normally do. Uh, it's been so long since it's actually been pleasant out. I'm kind of forgoing the jacket here and I'm taking an unnecessary risk that I really shouldn't be doing. Uh, I am wearing my airbag vest just for my own accountability and my helmet of course and obviously I'd never leave home without that. And to be honest, I really should be wearing my jacket but it's such a pleasant day and I really want to take advantage of the nice weather while I have it. Because it's, it's, it's like 62, which um, weirdly enough when you're wearing a jacket and the sun's on your skin, it does feel a little chilly. Although I'm going to be honest, it's mostly because I'm selfish and I want to feel the wind on me. It is so nice to, you know, feel just some semblance of warm weather, even if it's not really warm. Uh, unfortunately, I, you know, right now I'm, my body's so used to cold, I can't quite tell the difference between 62 and 97, you know, it's really, really nice outside. But the important thing is I do have my airbag, I am being safe out here, and I recommend uh, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, always wear all of your gear, all of the time. This is probably the one day a year where I will not wear, <laughs> wear my, my textile jacket. Really important everyone stay safe out there, especially in the spring when we're all out of practice and cars aren't used to seeing us. It's very important that we take every advantage, especially for our safety that we possibly can. Safety is not something you, you want to gamble on. Road rash is no joke either, and that's something I really don't want to experience. So we're going to be extra safe today. We're not going to be going too fast. Uh, this speedometer actually always reads about 10% fast. So I'm probably doing about 45 right now, which I believe is the speed limit on the street. Um, so I'm not going to be speeding. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. I am just on an otherwise arduous errand of go picking up my credit card. Uh, Kat and I had a friend visiting from, uh, from out of town, and it was so great to see her. And we were in such, having such a great time. We just, I totally spaced and I, uh, I left my uh, card at the restaurant. So we're driving down to Indianapolis today to go uh, grab that back. But other than that, it's a simple day. Uh, just a normal uh, Sunday. Uh, what is it? Uh, March 25th, 26th, something like that. But uh, yeah, we're just out enjoying the weather. I've seen a bunch of motorcyclists out today and uh, I was actually uh, in my car with my wife and my friend this morning and uh, we were just uh, in, you know, out and about and we saw so many motorcyclists. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? If I have to go back to the restaurant anyway, I'm, I'm taking my bike, I'm doing it. Are you gonna die me again? I can't tell if it's got like bad gas in it or something. Something's going on with my bike. Maybe my carbs are gummy. I might have to clear those bad boys out sometime this spring. Which I don't want to do because I don't want to rip the tank off. Although I'd much rather do it on this bike than some others. Uh, one of the bikes I really wanted to get other than this one, I really wanted to get a Honda Valkyrie, which is a, a flat six engine. So, but uh, you know, six cylinders means six carbs and that would not be great to do. That is not a fun task. I'd much rather have my V-Twin any day, just the two. So, uh, dear viewer, oh, look at that plan. That guy's probably having a great day. That's something I've always wanted to do is uh, get a pilot's license. I I've thought about doing it for a long time, and I've always thought, oh, man, that'd be such a cool, cool, cool thing to do. And that's something I might want to try this summer. There's a lot of small, like, you know, not grass field, but like, you know, not commercial airports around me. I guess they're municipal airports. I don't know the actual technical terminology for that. But uh, that's something I might actually look into doing in the summer is my pilot's license. That'd be a lot of fun. And I think it'd be a really, really cool content to film as you know, someone with zero flying experience, me. I think it'd be really cool to, you know, take everyone else along that process to see what really goes into it. Because, you know, there's a, such a huge time commitment, such a huge financial cost. And I've looked into it a couple times. It's, it's very hard to, to, I mean, there's a lot of information out there, but it's, it's hard to make a, a sense of it, you know, sometimes just because you know, when there's so much information, there's just so much to take in. It's really hard to digest all of that and, uh, you know, really package it in a way that's that's useful to, to the layman like me. So maybe I might bring you guys along if I do that and uh, kind of capture that for all you guys and show you maybe what goes in behind the scenes. Other things on the docket for this year. I'm really excited. I got a lot of fun things going on this year. Me and my buddy Eric, we're going to go on a trip together. We're going to take the bikes out. He's also a motorcycle rider. And we're going to take some uh, small road trips around the country. We haven't ever done like long road trips together, so we're going to start small. I mean, I've done I've done a little bit of road tripping. I haven't quite done like an iron butt, but I've I've done uh, five six hundred miles in one day before, and it was it was tough. I'll be honest. Even on a nice, comfortable bike like this, it is definitely not for the faint of heart. 
and for anyone with a particularly uh, soft butt, I guess, it, it, it could be quite taxing. So we're going to be doing that this year. We're going to be getting out, going on the bikes, going on some small trips. Uh, we're thinking like, you know, down south a little bit, maybe uh, heading towards like Nashville, uh, places like that, maybe up to New York City. You know, I, we, we don't really have any firm plans. We just want to know we want to do it. We've been meaning to do it. But uh, we originally planned to take these trips back in 2020. But of course, in the spring, we realized very quickly that was not going to happen. Yeah, we, uh, we planned, you know, like February, March, we're like, oh, we're going we're gonna to go out in the, later in the spring. and. Uh, do some road trips but March 2020 came around and nope we didn't do anything and then we tried again 2021 COVID was still a big thing country was still kind of shut down we couldn't go anywhere 2022 I actually moved so I was not around and we just it just didn't happen but now it's 2023 uh, we're committed to doing it we're gonna do it and we're gonna have a great time so we're looking forward to that uh, a bit closer and a bit uh, more planned out uh, I'm actually going to Key Largo with my dad and we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna do our deep water scuba dive certification. So the uh, advanced open water diver. Uh, we both recently realized we have a, a quite a quite a love for diving and uh, we went on, I pretty much went my first dives ever with my dad uh, a couple of years ago and we've been wanting to do it more and more ever since, but it's kind of a an expensive hobby to just jump into, you know, casually. So we've had to plan it a bit and uh, we're finally doing it. It's been uh, over a year since we last went on a dive together. Um, so. We're, we're really looking forward to, to getting out there and, and doing something that we've kind of dreamed of doing for a bit. So uh, that's coming up uh, first week of May. Um, I don't know how fast I'll be able to edit it, but my goal is to edit it within the week and get it out. That's my biggest uh, flaw as a fledgling YouTuber. I do not edit content quickly. I try, um, I don't do well. <laughs> as you can see by my videos, uh, a lot of them recorded recently my recent videos all the Disney ones were recorded in October and I didn't put them out till like January February which is uh, not a budding endorsement of my ability to uh, to edit quickly you know I know you're supposed to wave down side so note I always wave up it's a weird thing I do but it's you know make it visible because sometimes if I'm wearing like you know black gloves and black pants it, people you know it's it might be hard to see me wave so I've been trying to wave up so you know I, I don't want people to think I'm rude and not waving so I, I would try to make the wave obvious. Not supposed to do it that way, but I'm doing it that way. So, what a rebel. It's great to see so many bikes out, especially in India. You know, we got a pretty serious winter here, so you don't see a lot of people riding um, around sometimes in the, uh, for those winter months, as opposed to, you know, our friends down south and, you know, Florida, Texas, who get a, bit, a more of a year round riding schedule or riding season, I should say, not schedule. Looks like we're almost there. So the restaurant I was out uh, last night, uh, it's Cooper's Hawk. Uh, it's kind of like a winery plus restaurant deal. Uh, I've, I've only been a few times. The food there has always been really, really good. Uh, Kat was joking that, the, that one of the big things you can do there is a, a wine tasting. And they, you know, they're pretty heavy handed. Uh, um, you know, relative to what I'm used to. It's kind of like the joke that their whole uh, model is uh, getting you drunk before your meal so you order more. And to be honest, you know, I was tipsy enough that I probably couldn't have driven home, uh, at least for a while after. So, you know, I had to stay for dinner, you know. And that's kind of the joke. He said, that's probably intentional. You know, why wouldn't they do that? It makes sense to just get you while you're there, right? But it was honestly, it's 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 a really good. Uh, it was a really good meal. I had a, a nookie carbonara, and that was it was absolutely fantastic. Um, it was pretty heavy. It was it was a good uh, drunk food, I guess. Uh, it had a nice uh, thick cream sauce with uh, chicken and peas and such. Really, really yummy. So they had a lot of pasta, a lot of meats, a lot of hearty dishes to kind of help you sober up, I guess. But yeah, so we were there for like a couple hours and uh, we drove home and had a nice evening. We watched uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, I'm not a horror movie guy, but that, that is actually kind of one of my favorites. I, I really enjoyed it, you know. So we watched that. Uh, my friend had never seen it, so we made a point of showing her that. Uh, had a pretty late night. But other than that, we had a really, really nice weekend. Did some antiquing, got some cool stuff, you know. Just having fun. Uh, 
this place is always pretty busy. I mean, it, it is a Sunday afternoon, so I'm not too surprised, but like, I've never not seen this parking lot at least half full. And it's usually closer to full full than, uh, than not, you know. I know they have uh, pickup parking that I'm gonna steal up front. So hopefully no one minds that I am not picking up food. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna run inside real fast, grab my uh, credit card, and I'll be right back out. All right, so got my credit card back, and now we're good to leave. Uh, we're just gonna head back over to home, I guess. Although, that uh, Jetta's got a tooth to find or something. I, I might actually head to my sister's house. She lives relatively on the way home, so I figured that might be fun just to stop in and say hello. So, I'm going to get on the bike and uh, get on out of here. All right, helmet on. And adjusted. in. That's right, girl. And now we're rolling. So I've decided to take a little bit of a different route home, just for fun. Uh, Cause why not, right? You know, variety is the spice of life, so I'm switching it up. Once again, good dog. I love a good dog. Nice people out walking. Nah, oh, he's having a good day. Big man in a tiny car. Sorry you guys can't hear my music, but I'm I'm jamming. Jamming out. I could, I could put in some fake music just so you can uh, pretend you listen to something interesting. See, that, that guy didn't wave back. It hurts my feelings when they don't wave back. I'll pretend he was switching gears and he had his hand on the clutch and couldn't do it. Although, to be honest, I bet I could roll back the footage and check. This camera's got pretty good resolution. I bet I could see it. Like that guy is definitely on the clutch, so. Oh, never mind, he got me. I didn't expect that guy to get me. Good on him for doing it. What was my excuse though? I should have waved first. That guy, that guy was probably shifting gears, probably, are they wearing pants? They're wearing short pants. My parents live over here. I doubt my mom's watching, but if she is, hi mom. Uh, if my dad's watching, hey dad, nice to see you. Nice to see you in the internet. How's your day going? Are you at work? Are you pooping? Maybe? To my 12 viewers, by the way, uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's weird to invest in a new YouTuber. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I, uh, I invest my time. I'm very picky with the uh, YouTubers I invest my time with. So I appreciate you guys picking me. It means a lot to me that you guys are here. Um, I assume most people who watch this are members of my own family or some such. So if you're a member of my family, hello family member, dad, mom, somebody. Uh, if you're not, thank you. I, I really appreciate you 
watching because I have fun making it and I'll just keep making them for me but you know if I could bring joy to somebody else I, I couldn't think of something I could possibly do better with my time so if you watch this and you enjoy it thank you and I hope I can continue to keep you entertained I guess so I could have gone straight at the previous not the previous intersection I don't think I had that on camera but I only know how to get to my sister's house from like one road so yeah but oh shit I just realized my blinker on this whole time and you guys didn't warn me I look like an idiot that's all good but um yeah uh, full disclosure I only know how to get to her to her house from from one direction so I'm going that way but uh yeah I actually don't know how to get to it any other way so did I go too far? I don't know. I might have gone too far. No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've gone too far. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. I definitely will cut the video shortly because I don't want to show actually where my sister lives. That's probably not cool. So I will see you guys there. How about that? Does that sound good? All right, cool. Bye-bye. According to this, I only have 1% battery left, so this may not go well, but I did show up on an ounce, so we'll see how I, if I can make it in, because I kind of want to charge my camera now that I realize it's only at 1%. Take it here. Hello. Hi. I was driving by, so I figured I'd come to hell. I wasn't sure if it was you or my neighbor, because the guy across the way there has a bike that is not quite maybe as loud as yours, but sounds much similar. I was out and about, so I just figured I'd come over. over okay. Well, I just stopped at my sister's house for like an hour. I just wanted to charge up my camera and say hello, but uh, heading home now. I gotta grab uh, everything, get everything set up real fast. See you in a second. Heavy, 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 heavy. So I'm really glad today's Sunday because I would have hated looking outside at work and seeing such a beautiful day and not been able to, you know, take my bike out and stuff because this morning was cold. And if it's cold in the morning, I'm not gonna take my bike because like, you know, I'm it's cold, it's not fun. But uh, not, you know, because the worst part about a nice cold morning with a, like a warm afternoon is like, you know that you could have ridden your bike home and it sucks. So it's nice to be able to, I guess the point of having on this nice that Sunday is that it's nice that I can actually take advantage of this great weather and really just, you know, do it exactly what motorcycles are for, getting from A to B and enjoying it every second while you're doing it. But that wind, I just want to make sure I got ahead of that guy. Oh, look, sunlight, there it is. We're gonna get past that cloud because it's freaking chilly in the shade. It's actually immediately better. I mean, it's not like substantially better, but it is a, it is a tangible difference. Because like it's still chilly, but you can kind of feel like the radiation. And you actually got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but. Goosebumps, goosebumps, goosebumps. Is it six or five already? Jesus. It's about time for the Sunday scaries. Start to dread my work week. Yeah. I've been, I've been thinking as a, about a career change for some time now. Like, I like what I do. Like, I, so I'm an engineer. I don't mind telling you guys that. Um, and I really like the work I do. Um, but the only problem is like, with the project-based work I do, I just carry so much stress home with me. And like, you know, yeah, it's it's still Sunday, it's still the weekend. But right now, I'm dreading work. I'm, I'm dreading going to work tomorrow. And I wish I just had a job where, you know, I could deal with, you know, I, I, that. that bug went into my helmet somehow. What the heck? 
Um, but I just wish I had a job that was uh, more free to deal with stress effectively. Uh, I, I guess I shouldn't say that because I could deal with the stress more effectively. You know, I don't even know if it's a function of the job or if it's a function of me or if it's a function of like the specific environment in which I work. But I find that the stress from the current job I, I do follows me home a lot. And it's kind of made me reevaluate if I even really want to, you know, this, this whole career path. Because no matter what I do as an engineer, like, I'm going to always have the, this big project-based work. And, you know, it's, it's not so much like the, the day's stress, because that doesn't bother me much. It's, it's like the looming stuff, like, oh, the, the deadline's next month or the, or, you know, it, it's, it's all the stuff that's the long-term part of, of engineering projects that bothers me. Because like the short-term like problems I have to solve today, it doesn't bother me. It, it's really just the stuff that's that's all long-term. And maybe some of that's like the specifics of the company I work for, and, and, and the more fine minutia of of my specific job, but not necessarily engineering in general. <coughs> but one way or another, I, I, you know, I, I don't think I'm super happy with what I'm doing long-term, and I don't see myself in the role I'm in forever. So I'm thinking about, you know, a career change, but I don't know, obviously, maybe, maybe a career change is the, you know, the, the best, maybe it's just the job change that I really, I should be thinking about doing, but who knows? Oh. oh, those guys are rocking the cool vintage bikes, that's cool as shit. I've always wanted a vintage bike, but you know, it's a lot of work. Like they're cheap, but you gotta put a lot into them to get a lot out of them, you know? And I wouldn't mind a project, but I honestly just don't have the free time for one right now. Anyways, so what I was telling you guys earlier is, uh, I don't know what I wanna be doing long term. Uh, but at least I know in the short term, I'm not super happy doing what I'm doing, and I'm and I'm considering making uh, some pretty big changes to like my 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 life professionally speaking. And uh, you know, I wouldn't imagine I want to move anywhere. I'm quite happy with where I live and all that stuff. But a change in profession might do me some good because, like, sometimes I find that my actual work itself. Uh, it's not like super satisfying in the sense of like personal fulfillment either. Like I feel like my work, you know, I don't so much enjoy the work in the way like, I'm not passionate about it, you know. Like sometimes I enjoy solving a, a pretty tricky problem, you know, so I'm like, oh, how do we do this, how do we manufacture that type of stuff. But it's not really what I'm passionate about. You know, and I probably shouldn't have gone to a field that I know I'm not super passionate about, but it's too late for that. Here we are, but that doesn't mean it's not too late to change it and and figure out what I really want to do. But let me get inside and get this off, and I'll chat with you guys, and then we'll wrap it up. So we just got back home and. Man, it was so great to get on the bike again. It's been so long, and I'm really looking forward to this summer where I get a chance to do more cool stuff. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing some videos with my buddy Eric. We're gonna do some road trips. I'm going down with my dad to Key Largo in uh, first week of May, so I'll probably get the video out the second week of May. And we're gonna do some you know cool scuba diving content. And more or less, I'm just gonna try to do some more diverse filmmaking film, you know, different stuff, not just trips, not just, you know, the every day I'm just I'm gonna try to give as much diversity and uh you know my content as I can so I hope you guys continue to stick around if you watch the video all the way out to here I really appreciate it you know if you can give me a like and subscribe if you're new I have like 10 subscribers so I really appreciate anything that I can get uh, but anyways until next time guys I'll see you later